this is Bernie again, as always, talking to you from wonderful San Diego. Today, I have something special for you. I'm going to show you how to install an open VPN server on your Ansel. So I've already prepared a few things. Um, what we're going to do is, as you see, I have an Ansel here. No, um, no Antlets installed yet. So um, it's a fresh Ansel. The name is Tulip, you see that here. So in my case, it's not my Ansel.local, it's Tulip.local because I renamed my, my Ansel. And I'm just going to create a new Antlet. I'm going to make it a Debian 8.5. I'm going to name it VPN. And that's about it. I leave all the rest as the default settings. And uh, here's my Antlet. Um, what I'm going to do for the OpenVPN server is I give that outlet before I even start it. I click on the name, I go to virtual network and I give it a virtual NIC. So we're going to use that new virtual NIC for our OpenVPN traffic. Um, we just leave all the default settings, BR0 and the VertIO drivers, create that virtual NIC, um, get a message here that we need to change some things in ETC network interfaces inside the Antlet, which we're going to do um, soon. So we're starting that Antlet here. Um, it's 10.1.1.10. So I just go to my terminal here. Uh, Dahlia was my Mac and I just SSH'd into my Ansel using the SSH root at tulip.local in my case. So I'm already logged into my Ansel. And I say SSH 10.1.1.10 to connect to that new outlet. And um, yeah, I'm logged in now. So uh, what I do is an up get update. That's what you always do in a new Debian installation, right? And then after that um, has finished, we are going to do an apt get upgrade to upgrade this Debian to the latest version. So um, yeah, you might be asking why do I want an open VPN server on my Ansel? Well, a VPN is a great thing to connect to your home or office network from wherever you are in a secure way. So you can access everything you have in your office in the same land with, with the Ansel uh, from anywhere. You can connect to Ant-Man in a secure manner from anywhere in the world, and you can always hide your, your real location. So when you're traveling, um, you surf the web with the IP address of your office or of your home, wherever your Ansel is located. So um, a VPN server has lots of advantages, and obviously all the traffic is encrypted, right? So if you're in a Starbucks Wi-Fi or something, and you log into your OpenVPN server that runs your Antlet, all the traffic is encrypted and no one can spy on you. All right, we've now upgraded um, our, our Antlet here, and now we do what we've been told when we added the, uh, the virtual NIC. We just go to ETC Network Interfaces, edit that file, and we only have ETH0 here. And what we're going to do is we're adding ETH1 as well. So, and make sure ETH1 is the first network interface listed here. So make ETH1 the first and then ETH0 the second. So that is kind of important here. That makes our new, our virtual NIC, the main NIC that the, all the traffic is routed through by default. So um, yeah, we've done that. So we can log out of the Antlet, go back to the Ansel, and then um, just reboot our Antlet to make all these uh, all these changes go into effect. Um, we have to wait a little bit until the, the Antlet is rebooted, and then we can uh, log in again. Um, password is Ansel. And then password is Ansel. All right, so we're logged in. And uh, if we do an ifconfig now, 
we see we have the ETH0, that is the main network interface, it's the 10.1.1.10, that's the one internally used by the Ansel. But we also have the ETH1, and that one pulled an IP address from the router. So this one pulled the IP address from inside the Ansel, but this one pulled it directly from, from the router in your home or office. So what we have now is the 192.168.3.138. Okay, so that's cool stuff. And we are, we're going to use this IP address to route our VPN traffic through. And VPN goes through um, UDP port 1194. So that's the port usually used for, um, for VPN. So what we're going to do now is we're doing a port forwarding in our router. So I have pulled up my router menu here and obviously your router menu looks different, right? I have a Netgear here. So this is how it looks with me and, and your mileage may vary, of course. So um, what we have here is a port forwarding of UDP port 1194 to 192.168.3.132. That's a remainder of of one of my um, one of my tests with, with VPN. But we got to edit this now. Um, got to edit this now, and uh, and forward this port 1194 not to 132 but to 138 which is listed right here so we're going to apply that okay so now our VPN port is routed to our antlet that we just created and then make sure this 192.168.3.138 is going to be permanent right we just pulled that from our router via DHCP but we can make that um, that permanent by uh, by making it a static um, DHCP address, right? So I'm gonna call that 138 and apply it. Okay, so now this MAC address is OpenVPN Tulip, and it goes to that one. Okay. That's it. So that was a port forwarding. Um, now everything we got to do is use a script named OpenVPN install. And you find that on GitHub. So this is the name OpenVPN dash install um, by NYR. And here's the command line that they use to install it. So we can do the wget here. First, we need to install the wget command itself because that is not by default installed on the minimal Debian. So we install wget and then after that is installed we can just run the wget command that we've that we've seen here right we just paste it here um, in order to to get the openvpn installed script. Now we can just uh, do a, oh, where is it? Well, we can just say bash open VPN install dot sh. So, um, and it's asking us what IP address should open VPN listen to. And we just say 192.168.3.138. That's the IP address that our app that just has been assigned. And then it's asking us, do we want UDP or TCP? Uh, UDP is highly recommended, so we leave the default setting one. Don't type the one again, because the one is already there. So all, right, all you have to do is uh, hit enter. Uh, port 1194, it's pre-populated, just hit enter. And then uh, which DNS, just hit the backspace key to cancel out the one and then go with, with just the Google. A DNS server so you could also use open open DNS or whatever you like I like the Google DNS servers and then you give your client certificate a name so I just call it uh, whatever uh, freedom all right 
So that was all they needed. So press any key to continue and now everything is generated. Um, so everything's automatic and um, our open VPN server will be installed. Um, server certificates, server keys, client certificate uh, will all be generated. Um, it's all really safe. We're using a 2048-bit uh, Diffie-Hellman parameter, so that takes uh, quite some time to generate. Um, and then after that, the script is going to tell us that the client certificate has been has been uh, created. So what we do now is we transfer that client certificate to our client. So in my case, the client is a Mac. Um, it could also be your Windows machine or it could be your, your Android or iOS device. So um, there are open VPN clients for all type of client devices, right? Um, but here, the cool thing about Ansel is you can use it as an open VPN server. So you don't have to use any of those public VPN servers, um, which are actually not that safe because the guys operating that servers, they, they can see everything. If they're free, you're going to have a lot of advertising. If, they, if you don't have a lot of advertising, they cost you money. So, um, it's actually much, much cooler to have that all uh, on your own Ansel. So as I said, the secure Diffie-Hellman 2048 bits is gonna take a little bit of time to generate, um, but it should be done soon. And um, after that, we just have the client certificate and then install that to uh, to our client. By the way, the client that I'm using on my Mac, um, it's called Tunnelblick. So you just go to tunnelblick.net and there you can download the latest version of Tunnelblick, which is uh, a VPN client, uh, open VPN client. So um, you have the downloads here for uh, for, for my Mac, uh, but if you're running Windows, you can download the Windows version. And as I said, open VPN clients are available for iOS and Android as well. So on this Mac, I've already installed um, the uh, Tunnelblick uh, client, and it, always, it also gave me a little icon here in the top um, with all my different uh, VPN servers that I can connect to. So, you know, I operate a few VPN servers all over the world, um, all on Ansel's, obviously. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, so now our, uh, our script has finished. The uh, Diffie-Hellman parameters have been generated. <clears throat> now the script automatically finds out that we are behind a NAT. Um, that's our router here. Um, it's doing NAT uh, network address translation. So it wants our external IP. So the external IP, we just find it here in Antman as the public IP. We just copy that, uh, paste it here. So that's it, everything's finished. So now I have a client configuration file. It's available at slash root slash freedom dot OVPN. The OVPN is for OpenVPN. So um, that's fantastic. So what I can do is I can uh, I can just open a new tab in my terminal. I'm at my Mac right now. So I do an SCP secure copy. So that's the, the copy tool that, that uses SSH as their um, as the underlying protocol. So I set SSH root at tulip.local. Um, remember tulip might be my Ansel in your case. And uh, then there's a colon and I say slash antlets slash uh, VPN slash root slash freedom dot ovpn and i copy that to the current directory which is just dot 
All right, this file is now copied. Now it's on my uh, on my Mac, so I can open the finder and I find it in my home right here, and I have the freedom.ovpn. And I have um, Tonalblick already installed, so I showed you Tonalblick. If you don't have it installed, just go to tonalblick.net, install it. So in my case, I already have it. And um, then if I double click on freedom.ovpn, um, automatically Tonalblick will be open. It installs it. It asks me, do you want it for all users or only me? I put only me and I type the password of my Mac and then I hear that beautiful sound and it's installed. So what I can do now is I can click that tunnel blick icon here and I have uh, freedom here. So it shows me connect freedom. So I can hit that. Um, I will see the, the connection progress here. And uh, yeah, now I'm connected. So I see that here also. I'm connected to that VPN and now I can uh, surf securely. I can access Ant-Man from anywhere. Nobody knows where I am. It all looks, I have the IP address of that Ansel and uh, I got my own uh, open VPN server and client installed. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please leave a comment on this video and don't forget to also like it. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.